The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour, and uh, what we're looking at is that's what I thought. Um, what we're looking at in uh, terms of the Dow, we're up 431 on this uh, Thursday, the uh, 26th of May. And we're looking at the Dow 32,556. This is really what exactly what we wanted to see um, based on the action that we were looking at on the left side, the low of the 12th of May, where it went to, the Dow went down to 31,228, had a nice rally, stopped dead at the 14 period moving average, came down. And as it came down to 30,635 on the 20th of May, the technicals were starting to improve. The MACD was a little, the histogram was quite a bit improved. The stochastic was a little bit higher. The on-balance volume was higher. And because the Dow was um, coming down to a trough, a potential trough D, and the DOG, which is the one-to-one -one short, was making a PG. Remember the chap? Oh, I haven't done this for a long time. Let me do this now because we have so many new people uh, who are all, uh, investigating and discovering all the, the the wonders of all those all the technicians here at uh, TFNN. I hope I haven't lost that. No, yes, there it is. <laughs> so in the Chapman methodology, we try to always identify the lowest low bar, and from that we start a count of each successively higher peak. Alphabetize them sequentially on the way up, uppercase. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, seven, uh, seven peaks to the upside. You never get an H. There's no such thing in the Chapman Wave methodology. On the way down, they are lowercase a, B, C, D. It's at D, the fourth highest peak that other things can happen. So let me just, with that in mind, let me show you what we've done. We've got a peak D. And D is your objective in the Chapman Wave. You want to go from a buy signal, which gets upgraded at a certain point quite soon after the low has been made to see whether or not it's going to go from a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode. Immediate implication is that it should go to at least four higher peaks, peak D. What did the dog do? The DOG went from a low in the 3190 area to the 3665 peak D. And as it was doing that, I said to subscribers, this, this coincides with everything that we're looking at. If I didn't uh, type this in, but I should have, I, but I did it myself, but I didn't actually type it in. This particular high where it went to peak C and this particular high where it went to peak D at 36.65 had started to see weaker technicals. And that was another clue. So all I can say is that the reason why we went along added to our core very long-term, long position from April of uh, 2020. Um, we added uh, different positions in the D in the DIA, and uh, we've been long and just saying, look, all we can do is our homework. The market then has to prove itself. That, there's nothing else you can do. You do your homework, and then you wait and see. Is it going to unfold the way you've planned it? Well, here we are in leg A, but it's still a gray leg A. I, I, let me change the color right now because uh, I need to be as accurate as possible. Uh, because the, the stochastic still only at 45%. The MACD finally crossed positive. I was talking about that two days ago. And it did cross positive. That's a big sign. And that weekly had a Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone. It went right to it at 30,635. And now we're out of it. We haven't even started a leg A. This is still in its infancy as far as rallies are concerned. Uh, I don't mean infancy because it's going to mature. I'm just saying it's at the very beginning of a move. We don't know if there's going to be sustaining upside action. Or we can say, let's watch the technicals. You have to see a close above on the weekly chart. You have to see a close above 32.689, last week's high, to actually start a new gray leg A. 
It doesn't have to close above, just a squeak above by one penny. So that's that. I, I, a couple of people have asked me and said, hey, we love what you did intraday uh, with those with the chart patterns that you were talking about. Uh, is it possible to do a little bit more of that? Well, here we are. We're in leg. This is the first time that you've got a signal in the in the one minute. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is the one minute chart um, that says right here. I'm not prepared to put a down arrow yet, but I am putting a red plus sign to say, hey, be careful. Every sign says this is where you should start to see some kind of an intraday pullback. Um, and thank you for that information. Uh, where was it? Uh, uh, a little earlier on, I had asked a question because I had to shut my computer down for a, a little while, and I just I, I could not get the. Uh, yeah, I'll look at VST in a moment. Let me do that. Yes, um, the pre-market price on the TQQQ, which I, we've we've traded this periodically for the for the subscribers to my opening call. Um, I'd say today to buy the, to start a position in the TQQ, there's three times along the queues because it's so difficult to pick individual stocks just at this particular moment because they're only now trying to find a base. I mean, we'll look at NVIDIA in a moment, but really what I wanted was to get below 2763. Um, and now let me just check. I believe that's what I typed in my newsletter. And... The low was 27, let me see, 27.63, and the low was 27.77. Ay, ay, ay. Is that upset? No, no, no. The low on the TQQ, what am I talking about? TQQQ. I, I, might, I might not have seen it because I, the, for trade station, for some reason, used to, I used to be able to pick any time pre-market and say between the hours of 4.30 and 5.30 a.m., what was the price and it would give I haven't been able to get that. Maybe I'm not typing it incorrectly, but it says twenty seven sixty eight. Uh now anyone in any one of my subscribers, just let me know because it is trading right now twenty nine fifty. I mean twenty seven sixty. We missed it by four or five cents. And here it is. This is a three times long. Uh, at twenty nine fifty two. I mean, everything there said this is the moment that it should pull back a little bit. So I don't know. I and I and I, I have no way of knowing because I didn't get anything in. I was just I was had twenty seven sixty nine or well, sixty eight sixty nine sixty eight. Sorry, folks, that's the way it goes. Well, what can I say? Um, yeah. So look, E S M twenty two. So we've just recycled. Now, if you use some of my techniques, look, this 9 over the 14, it's green. I would never have thought, thought of going short right here because um, the 9 was still way above the 14, even though the MACD turned down and the stochastic. So those of you who used MACD and stochastic, you've got to use it with a couple of other tools. Now, I didn't have a chance to do this because I was in the process. Now, normally what I would do is I go G slash C. Why? Because there was a Chapman Wave instant restart at peak D. Remember the fourth highest peak? If within two or three bars, it makes a new recovery high. You can count that as an alternate count. That goes E slash A, F slash B, G slash C, and now we've got a D. And now, this is really important because you finally have breakouts and you have the QQQ up 1.87%. It is finally leading the pack. And this is only a leg D in the 10 minute chart. I have to finish the two minute chart. I'll be back in a moment. That was a 436 Basel Chapman. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, 
Ready Development Stage Gold Project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So just to go to the uh, one minute new mini chart, S&P, look at that little tiny doji right there. Now the MACD is flattened out, it's not negative, it's flattened out though. And the stochastic's still at 91%, so that's still showing strength. So even here, look, if you use just this, it's almost impossible to believe, but if you use a one minute chart and you got your buy signal, when this flipped positive and went above the 200 period moving average, this whole combination right here, little cluster formation. So let's just say you, you only noticed it afterwards and you got in at 4,005. Since then, and we're now at 438, there has not been a negative crossover. You could still be holding this position. That's 33 points. So uh, just these are techniques that I like to use. Um, and now I've also started just hold, I've kept, I'd usually I would do a fib. I usually, I'm, I'm quite good at visualizing uh, measurements so that, because I remember I'm a visual person, not a mathematical person. So I can get these pictures and people say, how do you know to put in, like for instance, today I said to buy the TQQ under, what is it, 2763. How do you know those numbers? I didn't mathematically calculate it. I calculated by just in my mind. I said that that's the figure that I would like. Missed it by four cents or something. I don't know. Someone let me know if you actually got it. Uh, I'm just checking now. I don't know if I haven't heard it yet from any subscribers to say they got that or not. What a pity because it's just been you know, a monster move. This is the move that I've been waiting for in the, in the TQQ. Um, no, I can't get it. I, for some, once I've I've lost it. For some reason, I'll, I'll maybe I'll call if I have a chance. I don't think I'll have a chance to call Trade Station and try to get the the pre-open um, prices. Uh, all right, enough with that. So this is still on its way up. We've, I can take out all these. These are useless right now for me, at least at the moment, uh, for the fibs. And now what we're looking at is the one minute chart. Nice nine and over the fourteen, but we're watching closely because it's stochastic at ninety four percent. That's what you want to see. And you wanted to hold in the 90% position. Um, so, okay, now let's go to the questions that I've got. Have I, what have I finished? I'm, I don't know if I've even done that. Let me just see gold. Uh, gold is, um, 
uh, up five at 1857. You can see the 200 period moving average, how important it's been. It just cannot cross and hold above it. It can touch it, but it hasn't really closed above it. If it and it, it's in peak C, look at this, this is a GDX. The GDX is a peak C and holding well. Um, it's up 17 at 32.77. Um, the nine period moving average is starting to improve, but it hasn't crossed positive. If it does, you can finally see a move at, at 33. 3276 right now if the gdx actually goes above 33 i would say closes not just goes it has to close above 3343 for me to say that that's really good action now what we have done uh, we've gotten out of the btc this is the bitcoin futures finally so we've had this uh, i don't want to go through a whole litany here but um if i can actually find it it's been so long ago hey where is it Oh, that's the GBTC is what we've got. We've got the GBTC, which we've had since since it was in the 12s or short. I have a caller. Oh, all right. Well, let me just go to the caller. Oh, we have Brent and Martinez. Uh, Brent, um, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Basil. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Hopefully today we start getting uh, warmer weather, which you've probably been having for quite a while. So... Um, yeah. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a good spring, it really has. Good. So you'd like to look at the SMHs? I bought into the uh, Sox uh, SOXL, so along the the semis this morning. I got yes. that at uh, I'm at at nineteen sixty on that. Oh, I just wanted have, to get oh. your thoughts on the on the semis. So there are a couple of things because had I known that we were gonna I. I still haven't had a confirmation. I just can't get that information, and I don't actually have it. So uh, we went three times along the QQQs because I wasn't sure just yet whether the SMHs would actually have that kind of move, and then SOXL would be the multi-faceted um, SMHs position on the long side. So the, the way you've got it, this is actually the first leg A up, Official leg A because it made a lower low the other day. The SOXL, which is the uh, the actual title of the XSL. Oh, let me just get it. There it is. Is the uh, direction daily semi semi bull three times. So it's the same thing as the QQQ, except it's in the spe specific sector, which is the SMHs. You know, this is a very interesting thing. I'm. I could totally be wrong here, but the way we're making this cup formation, and remember I do things visually as well as uh, measurements, but the way we're doing this in a measured move, I, I've i always wondered about it. I, I have my own theories, but they're not scientific theories. They're just my own <laughs> building up of, of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of charts. What, what forms the... The quora, which is the semi, this is the semicircle, the quarter of the semicircle. Why does it make this rounding curve like a boat, like the left side of a boat? Uh, that is, if you're looking at it from uh, stern to aft. It's just impossible to, uh, is there a mathematical way? I have a way of looking at it. If you're looking at the tide, as the tide goes down, uh, you can have slightly lower lows, and if you're moving to the right, you're going to make this kind of curve. But why is it not a straight line? It's not a V-shaped pattern. But once it does that, and once it starts its move to the right side, you get this momentum that shifts from negative to positive. And what I would be looking at here is I take this trend line, I, I'd be very conservative at first. I'd take it from the trend line around about the April high. And I'd draw this in. And I'd say just to be kind of a little bit more conservative about it rather than to be very aggressive. If the SMHs, or in this case the S XOXL, are trading at 2182, up 1.64, up 8%, 8 and a quarter percent already. And you got pretty much the low of the day. Um, this is a spectacular entry point. Except you're about to tell me you got out of all your calls and options. But I'm, I'm not, in the meantime, what I am going to say is if this starts its gentle curve to the upside, 
if there is a break of the downtrend line, a close, it can't be just a, a pop up, and a, but a close in the 23.45 to 23.65 area, in the, it, I need speed as well. I don't want to see the quick sharp pull back and then it goes back to uh, 20 or something. If it could move higher, then you start to get this beautiful curve. Then, but you also then have to look to the left side, to the right side, which is the weekly chart, and it says, "Wow, that you, you won't even get a start of a, a decent turnaround in the weekly chart unless it goes to the 2560 area or higher, the pink nine period moving average, preferably 29." But this is the way that turns are, are made. And if you're looking at the ellipse, if you're looking at this curve. So far, it is out. This is exactly what you want to see. If you look at the 120, it's more like a rectangle. It doesn't look the same way. So, if you want to hold on a second, I'd like to look at a couple of things because I, I too, been looking at the semis. I, I, I was going to go along the semis the same way as you with the SOXL today. We chose the other. But if you don't mind, let's look at it together. I want to discuss a couple of things with you if you've got time. I'll stay on, Basil. Thank you. That's Brenton Martinez, California. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Hi, folks. So we've got a PE e in the uh, one-minute chart, and finally I've got some negative action here. It just says at 4037, we could slide to the 430 level, 4030 level. A, a break under 4030 will be quite negative. It's a PE e in the two-minute chart as well. We're going right back to Brent. So, Brent, I've got the SMHs here. I've already done a ton of work on it, and I discussed this a few days ago, and I'd said that the low on the 12th, yes, on the 12th, of uh, 200 in the 215s um, had a had a higher high on the 20th, and the technicals were very strong, 
and that was a real good positive. But you had NVIDIA, and there were a lot of uh, semiconductors, so semiconductor stocks that were really aggravating and just not allowing this SMHs to, to participate. We had the same thing. I'm just going to broaden out a little bit in the IAI because I want to see the semiconductors and I want to see the broker dealers, the IAI is the symbol, moving in the same direction, and they've been so weak lately. Now today you've got that move. So I've got a whole bunch of levels that, I've mon that I'm monitoring here on the SMHs, if you don't mind, but I've already done the work here. So let me explain what I'm looking at here. I, this is in a leg C in the 120-minute chart. The technicals there are really starting to improve, but not great. There is 72% in the stochastic. The MACD is good. Uh, the 9 is just this moment crossed positive, so I like that. But that's just a starting. You can't get a turn in anything unless you get the smallest uh, time frame to make the turns like a rudder. Until the rudder turns, the whole boat is not going to move, uh, change direction. So what we're looking at here is that this is a starting position, and you can see I'd already drawn in. In fact, I didn't have to do anything today. I just went to it, and there it was. I'd drawn in the second part uh, of the uh, this, this uh, turn to the right of the quarter part of the semi semi uh, semi circle. And now it's important because the low that was made today in the SMHs at 225.47, we are so far above it, 233.17, that any, at this particular point, my suspicion is just based on looking at a few of the semiconductors last night and early this morning, and especially the turnaround in NVIDIA, I think that the downside I mean, the people who are squeezing the short side are just, they push their luck a little bit too far. That's what I think. And now we've got this reflex action, but the reflex action could in fact turn. The reason why I'm taking a little time here, uh, Brent, is because I think you might have gotten very close to the SOXL low of this particular phase. And we won't know, but I can tell you this, that if in, in the next week, without taking out, let's call it, the low today is 1948. Without taking, without closing under 1920 on the SOXL, if there is a move between now and next Wednesday or Thursday, preferably sooner, above 2474, all of these people that have been shorting are going to have to cover, uh, that is the people that have been shorting for the last two to three weeks. I think that you're going to see, you're going to see a lot of pressure to move higher. So I'm just saying, I don't know what you're, how you're positioning yourself right now, certainly on a move like this, to take a little bit off if you've got calls. Taking something off is just prudent. It's good money management. I'm just trying to get a bigger picture. And the bigger picture says that if we were able to close on the um, SOXL at any point, break up into the 2310 is good, but a close above 2330 would be the first really good sign that I'm looking at for a while to say we could be forming a cup formation where that ellipse to the upside is just beginning to work. I don't know if I've helped you, but that's kind of way I'm looking at it. Oh, absolutely, Bells. I, I just really appreciate your analysis. And this is one that I bought shares of it, and I also have options, which I will probably be out of it. They're shorter term. They're only going until Friday. I thought about going out further, and I just thought with the move in it, I was able to pick them up for a really good price, and and uh, well, it's basically doing what I wanted it to do today. And and uh, but then I wanted to have my shares to, to hopefully be able to stay in it longer. So premium wise on the options, if there's a little bit of a pullback to twenty one thirty eight, twenty one forty two. You'll see the premium suddenly shrink because I think the the, the puts will be accelerating because I think great now we've got another pullback. But if, in fact, there's another move towards the high of the day as we're going into 230, your premium, I think that's where you're going to get the best premium, you'll probably get a better premium at the end of the day today or going into the end of the day if there's another burst to the upside as they just give up and those premiums finally start to expand on the call side. And maybe it'll even be a better premium that you could get tomorrow if there's a little bit of weakness early tomorrow morning. So, yes, I, I like I like your thinking. And in terms of holding the shares, um, we'll see in the fullness of time. But I think you've got yourself a really good entry point. And um, congratulations. That's really terrific. 
It wasn't the easiest trade, I have to tell you, Bass. <laughs> I like to normally let things trade a little bit, but I just saw with, you know, I was, of course, watching NVIDIA last night and then a free no. market this morning and, and just kind of based my trade on that. And I just and the day is young. I mean, let's face it, we just don't know. But, yes, I think I agree 100% with you because um, the cross currents, it was like riptides. You really couldn't tell because there was no clarity because it went into a kind of a rectangle formation and that candle, that, that Chapman Wave... Uh, Roman candle that was made on the 20th in the, SM, in the SOXL, um, it, did, it did trade, but not for very long, halfway into the wick, which is at 19.30, but then it closed above it. So it, all, it saved the day because the Roman candle, that, that particular aspect would have said, if you're trading for 90 minutes underneath, what did I say it was, underneath um, 1938, there's a good chance you can retest the low. So these two sessions have been fabulous. And now we're above the left side high, and that's the high of the candle of the 20th of 21.65. Of we're, oh, we're not. We're at 21.59 right now, but we have been as high as 21.94. So there are a lot of good signs. But the day's young, but I do believe that you got a fabulous entry and uh, take advantage of it. Congratulations. All right. Thank you so much, Basil. Have yourself a wonderful day and, and a great rest of the weekend and a nice weekend, too. Thank you very much. And the same to you. So let's just look at the SOXL uh, on the, um, the Chapman Wave with the automated Chapman Wave uh, resistance and support levels. So 1929 was one of them. Uh, it was a support level in the daily. 20.56 was a resistance. We were above that. And look at the series of from 25 down to 20, 21 in the weekly chart, and we went under it. So that's saying that these are now resistance levels. You want to see them break so that all of a sudden form of resistance becomes support. 17.96 uh, was the low in the SOXL in the 120 minute chart, and it's good, good support and uh, moving nicely. It's broken above the 2101 resistance. So far, all I can say is. This is a really terrific, terrific action. Now, let's go a couple of questions. I had a question about uh, V, uh, what was it again? Um, VST, was it? Oh, my. I should have forgot to write it down. I should have write it down. Was that VST? I believe it was. VST? Yes. VST is Vistra Corporation Electric Power Business. Uh, the, uh, the questioner wanted to know um, whether or not to add. Um, I'm going to take just a moment here because you are in the position. It's just starting to show resistance. I, really, I would add some question. I think I'll be back in Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Actually, let me just finish this up. So, VST, I like it because of the sector, energy sector, but it's just a little, it looks to me the technicals are not quite as strong as it should be. So, to add to the position, I would split the ad. I, let me put it this way I personally would like to wait. I'd like to see how it tests 25, 50 area, if it does that. If it moves even, uh, let's say the high on the 20th was 25. 26.46 today's high is 26.45 if it goes to I, I know what I would do I would do two things I'd either just start a little position here at 26.14 and if it can get to 26.65 uh, I would add another little position and I'd treat Treat it as a, a kind of a core position of the new the new lot that I've just added. So the twenty six sixteen would have a, at this point I'd have I'd have a very tight stop. I'd have a fifty cent stop. It's about a fifty percent stop, uh, five percent or so. And, and then if it goes higher and I add the next position, I would treat this one as my core, and the other one I would trade around. But if you ask me, would I if if this is a fresh position, I'd say I'd have to wait. Because you've got a position, I'm going to say my preference is to say skip the, this whole idea and just have patience. Wait to see how it tests around about 25, 65, 20, if it does that. Because if it breaks under it, it says this could be a rectangle formation. And instead, in fact, I am going to put it in as a rectangle. I'm putting it as a high rectangle. It should go down there. But it's silly. I mean, we're way up here. Let's just make it as tight as possible. And it's fighting two patterns. One is the upside pattern, and the other is the chance that it makes an arch formation right here and has a little bit of a dip to retest the 25s. I'm thinking that's kind of what it could do right now. I could be wrong about that, obviously. And that's why I had that other position which says nibble here and then add a little bit at maybe 26 55, something like that, and treat this first one as a core position and trade around the other. But because you're already in it, I don't know why you want, I wouldn't want to mess with it. Um, unless you've got a really good gain, then you could just have a little fun. But other than that, just have patience. And that's what happens. So I'm going to put VST and wait. Oh, wrong page. VST, wait. Oh, I did write it down. It was on a different page. Wait. Okay. So that's it. The next thing is. Um, Yes, let me just show you this because there's so many people have asked about it. I haven't had an intraday uh, a webinar, just a trading webinar like Larry had the other day. Very successful one. I haven't had one of those for ages. These techniques, now let me explain this technique. You see what I've done? I'd done it earlier. Where did I do it? Yeah. You see this pattern? 
I put a rectangle from that peak G high. It doesn't even matter what it is or why. I'm just showing you patterns, right? And what happens is it pulls back. Finally, the green dips under the uh, black to go pink and comes back again. It's just kind of going sideways. I quickly draw the rectangle. And then I draw a cup formation because everything here says that there should be some, there was such a powerful move and there's a powerful move like this. You, you tend to see a rally towards that high. And then I do the left side, right side um, test. Well, let me just find my vertical line if I can. I'll move them around a little bit. That one to that one. And look how weak that is. Look how weak. you got your peak D and you pull back sharply. Once again, I'm not even going to... Tell you what it is until I'm finished discussing it, and then that 200 period moving average you couldn't care about until you hit it, and then you broke down at 8:30. You had the Chapman wave Roman candle, you broke to the upside close. You remember you got two bars in which to close above this um, this candle's high, but it fails, so it has to start restart, and then it starts and makes a peak A B C D, pulls back, but the rectangle. Here is exactly what we're looking at. We're looking at if I had to measure it left side to right side from there to here, you'll see this is a lot weaker and it has started to pull back. So you've got your peak E, but there is such strong momentum to the short term that if you start to look right here at the two minute chart, you'll see. We're just beginning an arch formation for the dreaded H. What's the dreaded H pattern, the Chapman wave? That's this pattern right here, where I always like to look at straight line up or down, cup formation or arch formation, just those three patterns. And you can mix them up, one and two or one and three. This is one and three, the dreaded H, because if you take out this left side low, you can go quite a bit deeper. So here we are. We're looking at arch formation. Arch formation, there's a one minute chart, there's a two minute chart. But the real thing is that you've made a peak D in the 10 minute. Think of this as a, as a one minute is the daily, the one or two is a daily, the five minute is the weekly, and the monthly is this uh, 10 minute chart, right? There's, I mean, talking time frames. So here we go, we're going peak D, still, MACD is strong. Nine way above the 14, stochastics at 92%, but you did get this M shaped pattern on the on balance volume that says this side is a tad weaker, just a tad weaker than that side. So that says monitor this closely, and all you can do now is use your shorter time frames. So the shorter time frame says, whew, it's still green in the two minute chart. Who knew that you can go from 4,005 or six, whatever it was I said, and even here at 4,036, 4, we still haven't got a sell signal. Yes, you did in the day, in the one-minute chart, but you haven't yet. So this is where I'd like to do – I'm a little sluggish about doing this because I have so many other indicators that work nicely. But look, my Chapman Wave automated support level on the two-minute chart, 43.13. Boom, it ran up. What's the resistance? 40.42. Boom, it ran up and fell. But now you've got a higher 40.31 support level, and you can see the 9 is still above the 14. This is still in a buy mode. <laughs> There's nothing to do here, but just watch it. A little later, we might start to see the failure. So the pattern that I talk about, this lowercase h, they can, get, they can then go to a lowercase m, is the pattern that I automatically think of, and I say, okay, let's draw that in. So I can't, I don't like to draw on a chart that has the uh, automated levels, so I'm going to draw it right here. So this is the H pattern. We've started one H going to this particular low. It's really important. Is it going to make the cup formation right here? So this is where money management says, hey, I, I would exit at least part of my position, and I would stay in one position, and I'd make this stop, in this particular case, uh, 4,031, make it 4,000. Yeah, 4,031, just for the moment. So that's, and all you can do is wait. And now what we've got is, we've got a rectangle formation that's continuing, and you've got to have patience. You've had a whopper of a move. All it's done is it's taken since 10.22, 10, 10, 10, to right now to digest in the narrowest of, of levels. You're going from 4,042.75, 4,000 and... 
Yeah, 42.75 to a low of 4,031.25. And you still, even though it looks like this in the breakout, you're still in the rectangle formation. You've got to learn to have patience. A rectangle formation can also be off I'll be back. How's it going? We'll look at the next Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. So I wanted to say, uh, look, my expression is a rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. It goes right to the door. And you think it's going to break out and you go long. Uh, uh, uh. It turns around and it flips and then it goes down to the body and you think it's going to break down. Uh, uh, uh. It goes right to the door and then flips and goes back again. So this is very important. So this is the E-mini at 4,039.75, 4,039.25. We're looking at it now. I always like to look at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture says that the 10-minute the chart has made a peak D, taking a bit of a rest. If at any point during the day, and we spoke about this, I don't want to go through the VIX index, but at any point during the day, if the, um, the S&P can crack 40 40.60 and hold above that, that's going to be a squeeze into the close. Uh, my thinking right now is that a, a little bit of a digestive phase is going to be, be in order, and uh, we'll have to see. This kind of rectangle formation, the longer it lasts, 
the greater the chances are that it will pull back quite sharply. So that makes 40, 25 kind of the area to monitor very closely. Let me just do this before we wrap up. I want to look at BABA. So you've got FXI, which is moving. This is the China big caps. Nice move up. It's not good enough yet. But it's a really good sign at 30.51. If it's able to trade above 32.50 by Monday, that's going to be a good sign rather than sliding back into the 29s. And Baba, uh, Alibaba, 93.13, up 10, up 13%. This hasn't made a leg B yet, but it will. And at 50 period moving average of 95 is strong resistance. This rectangle is formidable coming up. Just as we're looking at it in the uh, E-mini, it's no, no difference I ha will it break into the 105 area? I got a feeling it's going to look good and then it's going to stall and just chug around until it really gets to 107. That's a lot, a lot higher. Um, this is still consolidating and it's going south. So I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pesavento. It should be a wonderful show as always. Don't forget Tom O'Brien's got a workshop coming up. Ah, be really something like this. And um, let's see. Yeah, but, but, 